Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 10.5 series on the uh, vanilla advanced planet with or the advanced temperate planet start. Yes, and we made our way up to this point where we have this stuff and yeah <laughs> if you watch the other episodes you'll see how I acquired most of it okay today what we want to do is spawn in the SV that I was talking about that we were adding to last time so let's go ahead and bring that up so we need Another 400 or so in iron, uh, 460 in cobalt, 220 or so in carbon, 180 in copper, about 100 in silicone. Okay, so we still got some substantial amounts, but but. If what I should have showed you is the the time to spawn it in is like down to a second, so I could just just throw um, I could either throw more stuff in, and then I was realizing you know what it's at a second. I'm just gonna do ingots, right? Because the stuff I want to upgrade on the s on the CV, so I think I will actually. Do I will not put that stuff into it. So let's go back to which controller did I have that stuff in? This one, yeah. Can I just, no, I can't click on it. Ah, oops, didn't mean to grab that. Yeah, I know I got some messy containers. That'll get sorted out in a bit here. We're going to use this stuff. Um, that should actually probably go back in this one okay so we needed a whole bunch of copper and silicone and well these motors will have a lot of stuff in it same with the electronics that should be pretty good the energy matrix will help with all the so let's use yeah you know what we will use this stuff up then that way I don't have to spend time as much time smelting. Let's see how much we'll, we'll actually need after this. Yeah, it's not much. <laughs> Getting there. Okay, so we need uh, 308. Or was that 408? Uh, it's too, just a little bit too much. You know what? It's not a ton too much, but. Oops, not enough. By four. All right there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and then we got iron, which we can just use those, where are they, all the, which one did I put them in, yeah, here, Let's see if we might need a couple of these, okay, let's see how much that is, oh, that's a hundred, two hundred, Oh, pretty close. Okay, so yeah, right down. Let's try that. Oh, that. Oh, oh, two more. Come on, there we go. Have one at a time until it does it. Uh, carbon substrate, we need a hundred and four. 
we only need a little bit of copper, tiny little sketch of silicone. Okay. That's easy. That's easy. So we can put this back. Oops. Grab. Put it in here. So just a sketch of copper and silicone. I don't have any made up. Is there anything else that uses... Oh yeah, that's um, silicone, isn't it? Nothing uses copper though, right? Okay. <clears throat> so, although it didn't need a lot of copper, what did we need again? We need... Nine. Okay. And then what is this good for? silicone okay perfect come on there we go okay nine copper and 104 carbon substrate nine copper and 104 carbon substrate oops here i can just use it so nine copper We'll just um, make a hundred. Oh, it's, oops, doing it from stone. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. That's, no, let's cancel that. <laughs> Wrong box. There we go. Let's try this again. And I don't want it in there. Let's just do input. That's fine. Okay. Do 10 of those, and we needed what? Some more silicone. Let's get that out there. And then the uh, carbon substrate, we needed like a couple hundred of there. Well, not that much anymore. But with all the, the motors we threw in. Okay. This is exciting bringing in a nice vehicle like this. This will allow some serious um, control of an area through ground def ground defense uh, extermination, <laughs> let's say. Um, it doesn't provide very good support other than scouting and and taking out turrets really taking out like patrol vessels and you know but yeah SVs just with weights turned on they're just not that great okay um, well let's grab our stuff grab our stuff and yeah, we want that that we want that okay so that's only needed a hundred four okay and then co oh we only need a copper right of nine oh I don't know why I made all that derp derp here we go, start production. Done! And then, okay, so we'll spawn this in. Let's get it spawned in. We should be able to spawn it in inside here, I think. We just gotta find the sweet spot. Nope, oh, maybe not. Might be a little too big. Yeah, okay. Fine. I should be able to fly it in though. Well, we can. I guess we could spawn it with the door open, maybe. Let's see. Won't let us with the door open? No. Oh, it's too big. Oh, you know what? I don't think it'll fit. It might not even fit inside here. It's not going to. Wow. It's too big for my freaking little peeny hanger. Okay. Well. You gotta come out here with your buddy and hang out then. <laughs> uh.
Okay. Uh, I want to be able to have access to him really quick here. So let's put him right about here, I think. Right there. And yay, we get the graphics glitch again. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to be doing a whole bunch of work on the base, too. So let me get all this put away. And I'm going to get a bunch of ammo going. And I, I do have a whole bunch of blocks made, but I need some more um, elevator blocks. So let's make some of those. Cause Pretty sure I don't have any. Yeah, no. Yeah, they went inside the uh, <laughs> blueprint. Okay, so let's get uh, what, four of those then. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to need... I guess we'll need a door temporarily to seal it. Oh, wait, we don't... Ah, eh, we already had doors. That's fine. Um, we'll need more doors anyway. Um, hmm. What else should we need? We got one light. We're going to need another light. We're going to need. We're going to need more cargo. So that's going to require a bunch of container extensions. And that's SVHV. These are regular. Regular container controllers, that's what I want. I want a couple more of those. And, ooh, a whole bunch of those. These are going to be some bigger ones. Okay. So, we'll let that grind up. And while it's doing that, let's pop this off. Oh, we should, uh, you know what? You know what? Now I think about it. We should, instead of neglecting, yeah, less than two days. Okay. Let me get a whole bunch of ammo going too now, then. So at least the 15 mil bullets. So we'll make, heck, I don't know, 4,000 to start. That'll get us shooting and then uh, we've got to learn you know what we've got to learn the small vessel stuff I want to learn all this stuff right now we've got the points right oh we're 18th level now I need all this crap because I'm, I'm going to need to either re Upgrade, replace. Yeah, spend some points here. Get this stuff unlocked. I don't know why I keep going up and pushing the unlock. I can just double click on the gosh darn freaking thing. Okay. Uh, polarized hull shield. Okay, we're gonna just get all this stuff. Yeah, cause that I could actually blast things with plasma turrets right now with the uh, all the patax that we got. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I don't want to get too crazy here. I found a tool turret. Uh, I don't want to. I don't. Uh, I. You know what? The, the, those are cool and everything, but they're just not appropriate for the vehicle I'm using. So. Just, uh, what else have we got that's worth taking? How about... <clears throat> Ooh, a laser turret. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, I want laser turrets. I like laser turrets. That's 40 points. Let's learn it. Fun, fun, fun. Um, team repair. You know what? We should, we should probably learn these. And I'm going to learn that, obviously.
obviously. And that. Uh, that. You know what? That too. There we go. We'll be able to make a decent CV now. I've I looted enough stuff to. Yeah, we can get by with that. Okay, we're out of points anyway. We'd have to level up. Not a big deal. Okay, so it's done already. Making all that ammo. Look at that. Just plowed through it like it was nothing here we'll go throw it into it'll it'll already be right there because it's got it's fully updated for for alpha 10 so yeah it's ready to go um what do we want we want the it's got a it's got a few just standard cargo boxes just for the slots not for the weight capacity but just the slots you know, you can use it for like stuff that doesn't weigh anything right and then it's got a decent container controller 7500 it's pretty ambitious pretty freaking ambitious let me tell you uh, it can it can actually do pretty good for a SV for hauling too like it as long as you're not, it, it depends on what you're using up that 7500 with. If it if it's all like mass, or it's very little mass things. So, uh, yeah, so it can handle quite a bit. It can hold a lot of ammo, a decent enough. That's uh, if I wanted to, like 18,000 rounds of 15 mil. So, speaking of, where did that go into? There it is. Get that in there. So that's ready. Actually, let's flip over to the base here and we're going to switch to the fin fighter here so that we can go into the fuel and throw all this in there. It won't be enough. We'll have to grab. What else has all the, um, yeah, that's where it is. It's in the cargo, the small cargo. Uh, okay. Well, it's got its ammo. Come on, scroll up. It's got a couple of fridges. Uh, okay. So I know that's a you know ambitious the 7500, but it uh, I've had I've had pretty close to that with with some fairly heavy things in there occupying the space. So it's it's not un plausible but that was also on a low gravity planet too so eh, on a regular gravity you're not gonna get close to that but whatever um okay i think we want to add some of this into the uh, not that much i don't need that much let's just have half that because it's so freaking heavy see that or we don't even need that much i don't think since we already filled it up, right? And then we'll grab all this. Oh, that's what we didn't do. We didn't put the oxygen in. Do that. Okay. So now it's got fuel, oxygen. It's got no pentaxid in it, but we can change that. The pentaxid tank is ready to go. Okay, it's got some backup fuel and oxygen. Good. Okay, so it is ready to go, and when we get attacked, it will, um, we can jump in and defend the, the, you know what, we should actually do that really quick. So I'm going to do a quick reset, and we'll
go reset or we'll go set up the SV and taste and we'll taste it. Mmm. <laughs> yes, we're gonna go lick it like a lollipop. Okay, we are back and okay, lick. Oh yeah. That was more like a <laughs> face burn. Um Okay. So this is the fan fighter. Here, let me turn my shoulder light on. It's a little bit dark out, even though it says the sun's not going down for like ever, because it never does, right? Hello, sun. Um, so yeah, I'll just give you a little personal tour here of it. It needs it right now I have a very very simple paint job on it and I mean it I don't know it's not the greatest looking vehicle but it sure performs well <laughs> and what I forgot to make is a bunch of ammo for the guns so those guns take where do they freaking fire again Um, plasma charge SV. Plasma charge HV. Plasma charge base. Plasma charge SV arrestrium gel. Ah, okay, so it needs arrestrium. Okay, well, we dug up a bunch. <sighs> it's expensive, but we did big. I guess that's why they give you a bunch now, eh? Right at the beginning. <laughs> it's like you need every ammo. Uh, where did I put that again? That was... Oh, wait, no, that was with all of the other stuff in... This, no. Uh, this one. No. This one? No. This one. This one, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, a restroom. Okay. Come on. This one there. We're gonna... So, here, we'll throw 173 over and we'll see what we can make off that. I want to, I want to, like, bankrupt myself on ammo right yet. Okay. Elemental Patax at 20. What? How much does Elemental Patax take to make? Holy crap. Five. So that means four raw Pentaxid? <laughs> Holy crap, this ammo is like super duper expensive, isn't it? Uh, okay, so four, four Pentaxid. Um, okay, so let's figure out exactly how much, how expensive each Freaking each count of 100. Okay. So two, a restroom gel. 20 elemental, the 20 elemental pentaxid turns into four raw pentaxid. Four carbon substrate, which is nothing. Uh, so the restroom gel of two, what does that take to make? Two ingots. So that means four arrestrium ingots. Yikes. So, <laughs> really? Four arrestrium, four pentaxid, and a couple of carbon substrate? Whew. That's what that works out to per 100.
So that's like if you want to make a thousand. That's 40 of each. That's not that bad, I guess. You know, a thousand. That's like that's like devastating damage too. I think I might do that, make a thousand. So if I do ten. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean even doing one stack of a hundred is 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 quite a bit of damage that you can deal with. Um, because they, I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot. You can take out a, a couple POIs with, with that 100. 200, that's a few POIs, you know. Oh, yeah. So a 1,000, this should last a while, too. As long as I don't go insane with shooting everything with plasma cannon blasts like I love to. Because it's it's one of the funnest weapons in the game, in my opinion. It's just, it's so devastating. And it's fast. It's fairly fast for how much damage it does. Um, but, like, wow, it's expensive. It's expensive. We have way more Pentaxid in the other in the other uh, cargo box. That's not an issue. It's just we had a bunch of a restroom ingots. takes a lot of uh, work to make these things. It's a good thing you don't need too many. So they only stack in 500 too. Okay. Do they actually weigh? What do we got here? Mass 2. Oh. Oh yeah. They got some some serious weight to them. Holy crap. They have serious weight to them. Holy crap. Uh, really? Wow. Okay. I compare it to the other stuff I was just comparing it to. The... Um, let's see about my ammo. Like, it's just, it's just so heavy compared to everything else. <laughs> it's crazy. Wow. That's some heavy ammo. Okay. Okay, so there's that. I mean, there's a lot of limits to this. You're only going to carry a few stacks. Max. Okay, so let's dump those into the Fim Fighters ammo. And with those right now, we don't even need the rockets. Although the guided missiles come in very handy against uh, moving targets. So we should make a few. And we do have some of the um, magnesium power. So let's do that. The they take the 135H MSLs. Okay, so 135H MSLs. There they are. There. Let's just confirm again. 135 H MSL. Okay. So that is an output count of seven for two magnesium. Okay, so if we do 70, 140. 
Okay. And then we're going to need a whole bunch of raw pentaxid to fuel the pentaxid tank. Oops. So let's um, switch and grab that and throw that in there. So we want that cargo box and... That one, no. That one, no. No. Where is it now? No. <laughs> no. No. Oh, it's the controller, isn't it? Derp. Yeah. Um, so let's dump that in there. It's going to need a lot of that. Okay, so we just max that out. Okay. So it's going to need a bunch of pentaxid. 20, 40. hundred of it. That way it should last a little while. Hopefully. Although I think it, it, it might get eaten up pretty quick now that I think about it. Although I think that's the max I'll be able to put in the SV anyway. I seem to remember something about like two stacks or something and that's all it can fit or something when you have weights and volumes turned on. Okay, just enjoying some delicious Phillips Sparkmouth Ginger Ale. Um, it's really nice on the, on the tummy and uh, very unique to the area I live in. So, yeah, you probably can't get it where you live. Too bad. So sad. It's a craft brew. A craft brew soda. Okay. We have enough, I think. Let's head out there. So we're going to go blow something up, I think. For the for the end of the episode because uh, it's already, we're, you know, quite a bit, oh, really? Okay. We're quite a bit into it and there we go. Okay, so we fall into this hole and you can see that it's actually a cockpit in here, an armored cockpit. So if they somehow penetrate through, it still has to hit the cockpit. And yeah, I'm sliding. That's, that's, what that is I'm sliding <laughs> so it does have some amenities it's got a constructor in it it's got uh, O2 fridges a couple of cargo boxes right there armor locker and so you can open and close the shutter so this is nice for when you want to spawn your um, well, why can't I move? There we go. <laughs> this is nice for when you want to spawn your, your, come on, I know you can spawn. Oh, come on, really? There we go. I'm like, uh, again, I realized I had to, uh, I've changed my keyboard and had to do a different key combo for that. So <laughs> I'm like, why is that? Oh, right. Derp. Okay. So basically I can like fire this thing up and have here, let's do that. Then you can look at it. So I've, 
I've just got it's all white right now. The em, the emissive is all white. I would actually like to paint the emissive blue. And what I've also found is this right here. I need to fill this in. I think I think what I would do and I think maybe what I'll do maybe right now even if we have the blocks not sure if we do though I think I threw all the blocks in there yeah I'm pretty sure we don't have the blocks I don't have any small blocks left no nope. no that's fine I can do that later it's a, a little bit of a patch job I've, I've discovered a little bit of a flaw with this design because of this hole across here you can fall through it <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be uh, wide enough but you, you, you can and so I'm going to have to correct that I'll just put another I'll just make that solid that's not a big deal um, so yeah there she is she's got a warp drive she's got shields she's got lots of guns um, she's fast she's got tons of armor you can't get to the you can't really get to the cockpit on this thing uh, yeah it actually it's it's quite a performer here let's um jump in and I'll show you now the one thing is, is it's got no, you can't see through the cockpit at all. You have to do third person view, but it is super responsive and fast. And it's, it's really nice. It pretty much stops on a dime too. Yeah, it works well. Okay, so what do we got here? We got some Gatling guns. Let's load those up. We've got the cannons. Let's load those up. And oh, we did not load up. Let's. We should be able to access it from here. Uh, where did I put those? To do no where did I put those we're in here there they are okay so we want fin fighter ammo there you go and Bob's your uncle okay so let's load those up got fully loaded weapons but we still don't have the shield up because we haven't done that yet so let's put that in there we want to put that in the pentaxa tank and then we want to go into oops wrong one and we want to the shields are on okay we can turn the lights on too. Let's turn the lights on. So the shields are warming up. And they're starting to energize now. There they go. There they go. We now have shields. Okay. So. From what I remember, there was something over here. Let's go check it out. This also has a radar on it. It's pretty much full amenity little SV for one person. So let's check out what this is. We've got our thousand, sh whoop, big lag spike. Wow, that was severe, okay. So what do we got over here? not sure 
What is this over here? And where's its weaponry? Vehicle port. Oh, is that it right there? And I've got current range of 192. That kind of sucks. Two, wait, no, these weren't supposed to be affected by, um, by atmospheric conditions. That's barely better than my... Oh, come on, my rocket launchers are better. Uh, I thought... Oh, we've got incoming around us somewhere. Where is that? Where is that? Where are you? Sure, I got all tags turned on. I swear to God, I saw a red dot. Okay, well, maybe I'm just too far. There's another base over there. Yeah, there's a bunch of red dots. Okay. So, how should we deal with these guys? We've got... You know what? We've got a lot of this ammunition let's see if I can hit one of these guys while they move I'm too far from them yeah I'm too far okay let's come straight down and see if we can like nice nice yeah one shot them no problem that's kind of okay that's super expensive I'm gonna stop that <laughs> That's like bad behavior. It's, oh, yeah, but then it triggers a... See, I, I wonder if the more expensive ammo doesn't trigger the troop transport. Huh. That's something I might have to experiment with. That's, that's an interesting... Nope, too far. There we go. Okay. Well, um... It looks like all the defenses around here are destroyed and they didn't even shoot at me. Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> I just know how to attack this stuff. Like, it's it's a joke now, unfortunately. Um, yeah, once again same same thing so the green ones can't shoot straight up that's all the the secret to this is you just got to have a really good fighter that can stop on a dime and go like that and there we go and go away here you can have some 15 mil bullet and there's another one somewhere around here. There it is. All right. Well, that will be the exterior turret defenses on both these vehicle ports. Excellent. So, not really sure where the... Um, that was a little bit of a lag spike there. Uh, not really. Oh, there it is. There it is. So let's let's see if we can like. Oh, he went down like nothing. <laughs> With the appropriate weaponry, right? Okay, so there's guys all over the ground. Let's clean them up with just some 15 mil bullets. Can't really see with all the trees. I, I know it's not really environmentally friendly, but...
Okay. I just don't want to get uh, shot at when I get closer. I mean, realistically, I shouldn't really be going any closer at this point. Um, the best strategy will be now just to back off. Now that I've done the job of wiping the exterior defenses and taking out the initial drone defenses, I would then now leave this alone and not actually assault it further using the SV because the SV is not a very good vehicle to do a foot assault on a base with. Use anything but, really. Uh, a CV or an HV is, is good. Okay, so where are you? There you are. Okay. Oh, we did hit level 19. Perfect. Okay, well that gives us the uh, that gives us all the um, AP we're going to need to get the last couple things we wanted for the the vehicles. Okay. Until we hit level 20, of course. Then we won't have enough AP for everything we want. So, what else is there? So those are both, the, I, I'm not going to bother with this big giant cluster here. I wanted to just deal with these little guys, the little single stuff that's, that's going to be nice and quick. So let's head over here and we'll finish off the video. So that is over here. Oh. Oh great, he's coming after the base. Whatever. Really? I'm like right over my base in the troop transport triggers, okay. It's on that infinite troop transport trigger cycle thing now, I bet. What's here? Guy, uh, you notice that I haven't been looting them, I know. I know. It's very time consuming to to stop and loot everything when you're in an S, when you're in an SV. Um, oh, here he is. Although I should have actually looted the. Come on. Oh, it's really expensive when I miss. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 we gotta be more careful. We've got... We've got fl guys flying around us here. Why is that? Okay. That was kind of weird. I guess they were all heading back as replacements? Yeah. See, there's more. What the heck? It's just a constant stream of... Or were they going after my base? Is that what's going on? Is that a base attack coming in? Is that what was going on? But I should have got the... I would have got the... Um, what do you call it? The warning, right? I didn't get a warning. Okay, I'm not going to be able to loot this thing if I don't loot it fast. Okay. Nope, there's something else coming. <laughs> okay, let's let's 
Let's follow him. Let's see what the heck is going on here because that's more than four now. Seems to not even care about me. I mean, it looks like he's beelining for my uh, base, right? Uh, not really. He's not really beelining for the base. No, he's not at all. He's just going to be happenstantially <laughs> flying past it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. From what I remember, the, the biggest problem with... Oh, is that a... That's the other big one. I could have... Uh... See, is he going to turn around? He doesn't even know that I'm right behind him. Or care. I'm not sure what the range of my turrets are. So almost 300 meters. Well, I think I'm going to call it here. Um, I'm not going to worry about attacking the other base at this point. We'll just get, what I really want to do is continue base building. Now I got to, I got to really work on this thing. It's just a pain in a box. I really got to develop a uh, better garden downstairs. I really got to flesh it out. Really, I think it's it. It kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. It it needs to grow. I'll probably put the garden downstairs to tell you the truth, and convert the current garden into. Oh, here he comes. Come on, buddy. Uh, maybe I'll get to loot you. There's another drone. <laughs> okay. Seems to be a hot spot uh, where my base is for some bizarre reason. Without any. Oh, hey. Oh, come on. Are you serious? What's going on here? How could I have fallen through? Because <sighs> I'm in the wrong view. Since I'm in the wrong view, it picked me out of my vessel. See that? Ridiculous. So now, I, and I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck. I can't move. Alphas, aren't they fun? Here, let's loot this while we can. Oh, nice. Sniper T2. <laughs> and I can't move. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Well, let's just dig down a bit then. <laughs> that should never happen just because of your camera view. You should never, ever get ejected out of your cabin because you're in third-person view. That is uncool. That is frickin' uncool. Elon, fix. Okay. 
Okay. Well, that was interesting. Let's park it here again. Good enough. So she took no damage at all. I don't even know if I took a shield hit. <laughs> uh, killed tons of stuff. And took out two POI defenses. Yeah, I love this ship. Uh, like I say, it's got a few flaws, though, that... the See, it, it didn't eject me out that time. And I'm not in the right camera view. I should have been in uh, first person. So that's the other trick. Stay in first person view when, you, when you're getting out. Okay. Well, uh, next episode we will work on the base because we need to. We need this. This is pathetic. I mean, we got a good SV now, but we've got a crappy base. We, we really need to work on it, uh, make it look better, make it more functional. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>